Otherwise, I'd have to bring you down to earth too. I know this verse hurts you. I tell you what, I give you advice. I'm feeling nice. Your vices could influence your writing if you weren't fighting. Y'all trying to be people that. Welcome to Three Count Penitentiary. This is your host, Mongo Slade. And we got to talk about Jimmy Uso, our good buddy, Jimmy Uso, our drunk cousin who always getting into trouble, Jimmy Uso. Now, this is the third, at least, that I could find arrest for Jimmy Uso in two years. All right. So we're going to go through the various arrests of Jimmy Uso and what the outcomes were. But first, let's start with the most recent one. His most recent arrest. July the 6th, 2021, Jimmy Uso arrested for DUI again. Cops say he blew a 2.205. WWE superstar Jimmy Uso has been arrested for DUI again after cops say he was driving in Florida with a blood alcohol level of 0.205. TMZ Sports has learned. According to police documents, Uso, real name Jonathan Fatu, was pulled over at around 10.35 p.m. on Monday in Pensacola after cops say he ran a red light after being clocked at 50 miles per hour in a 35 mile per hour zone. In the documents, officers say he was, during subsequent questioning, they smelled booze on the 35-year-old, so they asked him to exit his Dodge Charger. Cops say when Uso got out of his vehicle, he was noticeably swaying and claimed that Uso had told them he had consumed, quote, multiple beers before being be getting behind the wheel. Officers say Uso went on to bomb field sobriety tests, so they arrested him. In the documents, cops claim Uso's blood alcohol breath came back at 0 .205, 202 and 0 .205, well above Florida's legal limit of 0 .08. According to jail records, Uso was booked on a misdemeanor DUI charge, and he's currently still behind bars. Police documents show Uso was also hit with citations for speeding and running a red light. His bond is currently set at $500, jail records show. This is the second time in, that, in the last two years that Uso has been accused of drunk driving. He was booked for DUI in Pensacola back in 2019, July 2019. But a jury later found Uso not guilty in that case despite police video that sh appeared to show Uso swerving and stumbling during his arrest. Uso was also arrested d earlier in 2019 after he allegedly got into a drunken dispute with the cops in Detroit. Uso is a huge star in the WWE. He's the son of WWE Hall of Famer Rikishi, and he's recently been featured in a prominent storyline involving Universal Champion Roman Reigns. This is not good. This ain't good. All right. This is not what you want. This ain't what you want. Jimmy Uso is a fuck up. He is a world class fuck up. OK. Now, these these things are absolutely. Uh, I can't believe he did this anyway. This is the third. DU, this is the third incident involving alcohol. His incident with the police also involved alcohol. Let's get into that because Jimmy Uso arrested, allegedly squared up with the cops. February 14th, 2019, WWE superstar Jimmy Uso, half of the popular Uso's tag team was arrested after a drunken dispute with cops in Detroit. TMZ has learned. The 33-year-old, who's the son of Hall of Famer Rikishi and his wife, fellow WWE superstar Naomi, were pulled over near downtown Detroit after cops say Naomi was driving the wrong direction on a one-way street. According to our police sources, cops say their 2018 Dodge journey reeked of booze, so they ordered Naomi out of the car. We're told that while Naomi talked to the cops, Jimmy got out of the car, despite commands from the police, and took off his shirt and jacket, squared up like he wanted to fight. We're told the officer took out his taser because he was scared for his safety. Jimmy ultimately settled down and complied with their commands. Then he was handcuffed and arrested for disorderly conduct and obstruction. He was taken to jail and later posted bond. Uso was not in Detroit for a WWE event. So, 2019, he got into a drunken dispute with the police. Of course, they have his mugshot there. This was the probably the most egregious one because he was going to fight the cops. He's, he's a nut. He's apparently nuts. Now, he did get found not guilty on the drunken charge where it is, uh, 
there's actual video evidence. It's very strange that there was actual video evidence of Jimmy Uso being drunk. And he still managed to beat the case. Still managed to beat the case. Let's talk about that case real quick. This is from July 25th, 2019. This is when he was arrested. The trial ended, I believe, in December of 2019. Let me let me try to find the the, the last date of the trial. The trial was, yeah, December 18th, 2019 is when he was found not guilty. Let's read this real quick. A WWE superstar arrested for DUI in Escambia County appeared in court Wednesday for trial. Jonathan Fatu, a.k.a. Jimmy Uso, was arrested in July for DUI and opted for a jury trial. An arrest report says an off-duty officer claimed Fatu's vehicle was driving on Interstate 10 at speeds of 100 miles per hour. The athlete was eventually pulled over by an Escambia County Sheriff's deputy and charged. It took an Escambia County jury only one hour to find Fatu not guilty. Fatu was emotional as the verdict was read. He did not speak to the Channel 3 News, but his attorney, Greg Wibbs, did. And this is why the this is what the jury system is for. A cop cannot convict you. A cop can arrest you, but they cannot convict you. And that's why we took it to the next level and pled not guilty and set out for a case trial, Wibbs said. Fatu didn't take a sobriety test. He never refused, but asked that his lawyer be present. That arresting officer took the stand and said that he believed the WWE superstar was impaired. Quote, once he eventually got, once he eventually started to get out of the vehicle, he appeared to have a hard time with the door handle and opening the door. He was unable to get out of the vehicle and took a step or two and appeared to stumble almost into the travel lane, said Deputy Jeremy Meeks on the stand. Wibbs said he, had, and he has been friends with Fatu for 20 years. He is proud the system worked for him. The speeding ticket he also received will remain on his record. So those are the three arrests of Jimmy Uso. I mean, I guess the rest of them are Jays. <laughs> There's plenty of Uso bug shots out there. Hard to tell which ones are Jimmy and which ones are Jay. But this is not good. This, of course, leads to the question of how many of these things are this guy going to be able to get? Now, the WWE are... They've been very, very, very lenient when it comes to the Usos. They've been very lenient when it comes to the Usos. Jay Uso was arrested for DWI in Texas. All right, so, yeah. So, that's Jay. Um, th this, we're talking about Jimmy here. But, um, so I just wanted to make sure how many of these things are <laughs> Jay and how many of them are Jimmy. <laughs> It's hard to keep track. Um, but what? How, how lenient are they going to be, really? You know, well, this was 2018. This was Jay Uso. Okay. So we are in a we are in a situation where most other people would not have gotten this many chances. You know, do you fire the guy? You can't really, can you? I mean, he is the cousin of your top star. Now, I know, you know, if Roman kind of throws his hands up and like, look, there's nothing I can do. I can't help you this time. Then Jimmy will probably get fired. But it's hard. Like we know now he can always fall back on the I have an alcohol problem. He can always fall back on that. And they're not going to fire a guy who admits that he has a, a, an alcohol addiction. And that seems to be the issue here is that he likes to drink. He likes he likes the sauce. Um. I feel bad for him, you know, be, not because, you know, he has a problem, but because it's, it's this is the most terrible time to get caught doing anything bad. Like he was off for over a year, you know, for, you know, all those many months, he could have got caught doing DWIs and DUIs then. As soon as he comes back, he gets pushed as a top star and he gets slapped with another DUI. It's like, God damn, not only is the time, not only is the, the criminalism bad enough, but your timing is the shittiest of all time. So it's like, this is, this is horrible. I, my question is obviously, what are they going to do? Cause there's probably going to be people who are going to say, look, that's enough. This guy's got to go. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be quite a few of those who are going to say, look, enough's enough. We got to release them. But then you have to ask the case, what about Naomi? 
You know, do you, I mean, obviously there's nothing she could do. She's not, why punish her for Jimmy being a, a knucklehead? Um, it, how is this going to affect Jay? You know, I guess we finally are going to get my main event Jay Uso because he managed to stay clean, at least theoretically. So you have to ask the question, what are they going to do next? Because they can't just keep letting the guy get DUIs. They got to send him to rehab or something. And he's going to, so he's probably going to be gone for a while. They got to write him off TV. And I guess they did a, well, I guess his timing isn't too bad because he just got beat up by Edge. So I'm guessing that could be his writing off of TV where he could just be like, oh, Jimmy. Oh, that, that scamp, Jimmy. He, he decided he's not going to show back up for work because he, uh, we didn't show up to help him. So now he's, come on, <laughs> there's no way around it. His face is going to be all over the internet. His third mugshot. All over the internet. You can't escape it. You got to do something. You know, you, you got to do something, man. They already tried to make light of it with the Uso penitentiary thing. But, you, but eventually you have to say that he has a problem. And you have to send him away to get that fixed. And get that, get that work done. Tell me what's worse than learning all that you led to believe was all horse crap. They distort so question as if you worship. This is this is a mess. What do you think should happen? Let me know in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel, donate to the channel via subscribe star or tip me via Cash App. Either way, um, and um, I'll talk to you guys later.